Hello everyone! This is a vlog about our recent trip to Arizona. We visited Sedona and Hopi Reservation in northeastern Arizona. We were only there for two nights, but this trip has become one of the most memorable trips that I've made, and I hope you get a few travel tips from this video. On day one, we made our way to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. It is over six hours by car, but it takes only an hour and a half from LAX and less than an hour from Long Beach Airport. Once you get to the airport, we made our way to the car rental center by train. This used to be a bus, so I was glad to see the train system built for more easier transportation to the location. Now the car rental area can often be very crowded with long lines at Phoenix Airport. So I suggest you hurry your way to the counter once you get off the train. But luckily for us, we figured out how to use an automated machine at Enterprise, so we were able to avoid the line. Driving from Phoenix Airport to Sedona takes just over two hours. But once you get to the area, you're greeted with gorgeous red rock formations that Sedona is known for. About 340 million years ago, the entire Sedona was covered by tropic ocean. And over millions of years, the sea receded in layered sediments from volcanic activities, which contributes to the beautiful red color from the iron oxide. And wind and water erosion created these magnificent sculptured rocks we see today. Having over 200 trails, this place is perfect for outdoor lovers, attracting nearly 3 million tourists to the area every year. It is also a city of psychics, reiki healers, and mystics. That is because Sedona is known for its vortexes. Vortex is thought to be a swirling center of electromagnetic energy of Earth that enhances psychic and healing energy. It is said that juniper trees in Sedona hotspots grow in spiral, responding to the strong spiraling energy from the earth in that area. First spot we checked out is Cathedral Walk. This is considered to be one of the most popular vortex spots. To get there, we took a free Sedona shuttle as public parking is closed in the area on weekends. You get on the shuttle at North SR 179 Park and Ride and get off at Cathedral Walk Trailhead. Cathedral Rock Trail is just under 1.5 mile round trip, but there's over 740 feet elevation and you do have to get on your hands and knees at times to climb up and down, so you may want to listen to your body how far you can go. And mountain climber? Who was it? How was it? We're experts. Ooh. But wherever you are on this trail, you get gorgeous views. The trail is marked with caged rocks, so it is very easy to follow. Every step you take, you feel amazed by the presence of this majestic rock. Maybe we were feeling the vortex energy. It's a beautiful place here. It's all like a silver rock, and so we are on a little, let's call it walk. It's not really like a nice afternoon walk. Like some kind of feet. Oh, we're here. We did reach the top and checked out the magnificent view from the top. Where I'm sitting is one of the two main photo spots at the top of the trail called the Edge. You get absolutely breathtaking view here. It gets somewhat windy at times, so make sure your hat is tied. Another photo spot at the top is called the Pillar. This is thought to be a strong vortex spot. In Sedona, you can see the rock. And of course, if you climbed up, you gotta go back down. It can be very slippery at times, so be sure to wear proper hiking shoes with good grip for an easier hike. And after that, we headed to Airport Mesa. Airport Mesa is right by Sedona Airport, which is used for private planes. There are a few parking spots alongside Airport Road. This is a 3.3 mile loop trail, but if you're pressed for time, you can also just stop by at the viewing spot overlooking Cathedral Rock, Bell Rock, Chimney Rock, and Coffee Pot Rock. For our stay, we chose Amara Resort Hotel and Spa, which is located in the uptown Sedona. Their bed was super comfy and soft, and the service was spectacular. After a hike, we quickly took a dip in their infinity pool overlooking the Oak Creek alongside their hotel property. 
You can also enjoy the nice view of Snoopy Rock. They have open and welcoming common patio that offers free yoga class. Sometimes Sedona can be a tricky place to find the fine dining options, but you can always find a good restaurant with a little Yelp search. I found the cutest Italian restaurant called Cucina Rustica. This is one of the restaurants by Arizona's celebrity female chef Lisa Dahl. The service, the food, and the ambience was fantastic. They even had live music. Good morning. Good morning. We are going to the Hopi Reserve. On day two, we woke up early and drove two and a half hour northeast to go to Hopi Reservation. The Hopi tribe is a sovereign nation, and I was always interested in their mythology and culture, so we decided to visit. On the way, we quickly stopped by at the Oak Creek Vista, where you get a scenic view of Oak Creek and shopping opportunities for Native American arts and crafts. The Hopi Reservation occupies part of Cocochino and Navajo counties. Encompassing more than 1.5 million acres, and is made up of 12 villages on three mesas. Mesa basically is a flat top mountain.、Uh, I think this is a very interesting rock formation.、Um, I think they call it mesa here, and mesa is a Spanish word for table,、uh, uh, for kind of a table mountain. And uh, uh, table mountains are very interesting formation. There's a very famous one, a nice one in South Africa, in the city of Cape Town. Well known, but I never saw a table mountain as flat as those here. These are really, really beautiful. Finally, we arrived at Hopi Cultural Center. This facility is small, but it has a hotel, gift shop, and a restaurant for guests. From there, we met up with a native Hopi guide to give us a tour. He took us to a remote location where the largest concentrations of petroglyphs can be found. This place is a huge horse-shaped canyon in which many migrating clans have inscribed messages of ceremony, family structure, solar and lunar cycles, and hunting stories. Petroglyphs are rock carvings made by antlers or wood sticks and pounded by rocks. These date back between 900 and 1100s. Each shape represents different people, spirit, and their connection to the land, water, weather, and harvest. Hopi stories and legends can be a little difficult to grasp. I highly recommend reading this book called *The Fourth World of the Hopis* by Harold Kuhlander before you visit. The tales in this book link with the stories of the petroglyphs and made it a bit easier to understand. The link is in the description below. What was interesting about this petroglyph was that during summer solstice, the shadow of the rock falls exactly in the center of these target-like circles, indicating the longest day of the year. There is another one for winter solstice too. What was most exciting for me is that Hopis believe in star beings, meaning extraterrestrials. There is a petroglyph of star being as well. And it's actually a katina.、Mm. He has like a mouth with teeth on it, big bulging eyes, and then he has a moon and a star on his cheek, and then he's got the triangle on his forehead on top, and it's different colors. And he has two horns with lightning on it. The name of it, but it's called Hote. Hote. That's a star. Our guide Micah is the priest of Hopi religion and grew up here in this area. He's absolutely knowledgeable and educated in anthropology and gave us so many insights to the culture. I highly recommend his tour. After the tour, we went back to the Hopi Cultural Center and checked out the native Hopi arts and crafts for sale at the gift shop called Corn Maiden. And then we made our way to the adjacent Hopi restaurant for late lunch. They have an interesting menu like Hopi hot beef and Hopi tostada made with fried bread, so we decided to try them.、Um, this is the Hopi tostada and the basket of French fries. I hope you enjoyed our vlog about Sedona and Hopi Reservation. It was a great trip, and I sure enjoyed making this video. If you found this video valuable, please hit like and subscribe, and see you next time.